H for Dr. H. Just a few months before Chris Brown found an unexpected guest in his home, just a few months ago, another Hollywood celebrity had a pleasant surprise. Mm -hmm. You want to know who this is? Will Smith. Mm. Yeah. He actually became a victim of, of, of somebody breaking and entering unexpectedly. No invitation, nothing. Ariel Archer broke into actor Will Smith's home earlier this year in March and was discovered chilling in the kitchen by one of the Smith's housekeepers. Now, even after being found by the housekeeper, Ariel refused to leave the home until the police arrived on the scene. Thankfully, uh, thankfully for Will and his family, nobody was home uh, when Ariel actually decided to pay, to pay them a visit that they didn't invite her to pay. Like, it was just the most ridiculous thing ever. But anyway, um, she was actually charged to court yesterday and could possibly face a jail term of up to six months or a fine of $1,000. Uh-uh. Yep. That's Only 1000 come on. Yeah, just it was six Maybe she should be locked it's up. Small, yeah. I thought uh -uh. six months was so small. Six months too much. More like small. a lifetime. Just uh, two days so should be better. <laughs> so is it possible to lead a, a private life as a celebrity? Is it possible? Titi, you're a celebrity. How, yeah, how, how do you manage it? Enugu. Titi, you met your man. Ah, we're here to get, to get <laughs> that. We're here, we're here. Right here. <laughs> well, if you wouldn't put much out there, like Toke Makin was saying, oh, oh my oh. husband was the king, oh, and gosh. this girl was stalking him, and the rest of them were like an Edibia that was calling <laughs> Two-Face the God, and Two-Face was saying kissing Pharaoh. Oh, <laughs> no. Then, Where did you get her from, <laughs> man? <laughs> <laughs> then you'll be able to lead a private life because you're not putting things out there. See Beyonce, as popular yeah. as she is, her life is still kind of private. Always. She's still doing it well. But as they say, the MC barrels make the loudest noise. No, no, but I don't, I don't agree. So, I think as a celebrity, already that word itself is, is coined from celebrate. So mm -hmm. at the end of the day, you need to give people a little bit of yourself for you to remain relevant. So Beyonce might not show pictures like Tokyo Makima where she wakes up, mm -hmm. when she's sleeping, when she's in this. But she would definitely still want to now put up, put up a picture of Blue Ivy being cute because it makes her relevant. You need to put up a bit of your private life if you're a celebrity to but be But how relevant. come they don't know the, like, the inside gist of what happened between uh, Jay-Z and Solange and um, who it was else? Like, it was too embarrassing for her. They, that that oh, family that. has a whole lot of secrets. Yeah. That, it's like a cult, scary. But I mean, it works for them. Somehow it's kept them away from the public. But I, I actually, I think it's, it's impossible if you're a celebrity to, have, yeah. to keep trying to guard your private life. I do think you should protect a big, you, you don't want to put everything out because it's silly. However, that's the price you pay for stardom. You have to deal with it. Stop for me, no, why are you all up in my business? It hurts, it's annoying, but deal with it. You're making a whole lot of money. Mm. Exclusive, am I, not, am I not telling the truth? Um, well, kind of, but I think, I think you can live a private life um, because it's your life. You, you, you're the one that determines what you want the people to know or hear, mm -hmm. to be honest. Like social media, you determine what you want to post or tweet. Mm. And, and um, uh, I keep my life private, I'll yeah. be very honest with you. Um, a lot we, of people we, don't we, even we know. Noticed, yeah. <laughs> a lot of people <laughs> probably don't even know my real name. Do you know what I mean? I'll be, I'll be straight with you. But I hear from a lot of people. They're like, it was shocking, like, though, that you got engaged because we didn't see you with any girl. There you go. Wow. So, I think we're going to come to that one. In, we'll come in to that. But you can, you can have a private life if you want to. Mm -hmm. uh, with regards to Ayo saying, you know, you need to put out certain things from your life to, to keep your, um, your, your to hype relevant. or your, yeah, to yeah, be relevant. Yeah. Um, you can. But for me, I, I think people that do such things, yeah. I think that's just a sign of desperation. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I mean? Because why bring your private life into the public so people can talk to increase the value of your brand? If your brand is that you know, strong, why do you There are people that do that. Big shout out to the Kardashians. Mm -hmm. They bring their life on TV. Because they have nothing there else There you go. It's like, <laughs> it's like that wedding. Nigeria. Don't shout out to people across okay. the water. But, but, <laughs> but it's like that wedding um, that she had. What's that guy's name? Before Kanye. Chris Chris Chris. Yeah, that was obviously a planned. There was no love there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That was all planned. So people do that to increase their value of their brand. Some people wait, wait, don't. You're saying there's no love between who and who? Hand Chris, Chris, and yes, Chris. That wasn't, there was no love there. But it don't you obvious. think, don't well, you think now, the so. reason I say sometimes it's good for you to feed the information is because it's best it's coming from you so you control what they get. If yeah. someone dug up debt on you yeah, because they would put it, you know, we're yeah. talking about this yesterday when we spoke of Wande Cole yeah. showing his son and the yeah. fact that, thank God he brought it out. If someone yeah. else dug that dirt up, they'll be safe. Oh, Wande Cole has a son? Exactly. Uh -uh. Oh, I'm just here with this. Uh -uh. <laughs> That's the new trend now. When, when, when are we getting out of this? <laughs> That's what I tried to do when she went on TV saying, oh, you know, there's this talk of my husband's case. She's been stalking him yes, for years. Yes, she was now, you see, you see, now, now that, that, you don't need to bring it to exactly. the public. But, you see, in all defense, Toke is, she's branded herself as 
a figure for everybody. Like she yeah. brings everything out there. That's what made her blow, actually. There you go. Yeah. So if it works for her, then that's fine. But me personally, I can't do that. That's not me. Okay. Well, I think so. I think you need to. I think you should always separate the two because the truth is, the brand is somebody you made up. Exclusive is someone I brought up. Don't start leaving the exclusive way and forget who you really are as wrote to me. You get hmm. caught up in the exclusive way. I oh, man, I told you I'm ready for you, man. I'm ready for you, man. You thought I was joking. <laughs> No, no, that was very really good. Look at that team looking at him intent like, oh my mm. god. That was actually really <laughs> good. That floor manager looking at you know? him. Very good. Wow, okay. But well, let us know, do you think it's possible to lead a private life as a celebrity? You can join this, uh, the conversation on Twitter and Facebook, Cool TV, the blog. You can also email us, blog at cooltv.cool. Don't forget the hashtag. Love to Oops. Blog. Love Oops. I did the wrong thing. So yeah. love to Blog. We need, we need to work on that. And by the way, we have something really special for you. You, you say you like hefty women. We have something special. No, no, not hefty. That hefty sounds next, like size 14. We'll <laughs> we have something hefty for you coming up in just a little bit. We'll be right back. <laughs> size boy.